All right, now we're going to talk about interval notation. So interval notation is a way of describing intervals. Now you've seen intervals before, but in the past you have um, used less than or greater than or less than equal to greater than equal to um, inequality signs to describe these. Um, you can still use those, but we also want to be able to describe these intervals using interval notation. And it actually is a, a lot more intuitive once you get the hang of it. Um, now, it also has to do with graphing. And um, I put examples of how you would have graphed things in the past using um, open and closed circles to represent whether it's less than or greater than or less than or equal to and all that good stuff. So now I'm just going to show you the new way of doing this. Um, so it'll help if we look at the graph first and then I'll, sh I'll write it in interval notation. So the first part is the same in that we still are going to find five, for example, here. Okay. But now since I am saying that it's less than and that five is a critical value, but it's not part of the solution set, I'm going to use a parenthesis to show that it is an endpoint, but not part of the solution set. And then I use the arrow the same way I would before. Now, reading from left to right, I would start and it goes all the way to negative infinity. And then I travel until I reach five and I'm going to use an open parenthesis. And you can see the clarity of this is that we're using the same symbols for our graphing as we are for our um, kind of algebraic solution. So greater than is the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and write five. I'm going to use a parenthesis since it can't be equal to five and I'm going to go to the right this time and in this case I'm starting at five and I'm traveling to positive infinity just like we don't write a plus sign instead of or in front of the five I'm not going to put a plus sign instead in front of the infinity sign either okay so we've got five to infinity now the only other thing we need to learn is what about when it can be equal to so I'm going to write out my point and when we want to say that the endpoint is part of the solution set, we use a bracket instead. And that's it. So now I'm still starting at negative infinity all the way to the left. And then I'm traveling until I reach five, but I'm including five this time. And the same thing over here. I've got five and I'm going to use a bracket to show that five is part of the solution set and travel to the right. And now I'm starting with my bracket and my five and I'm traveling all the way to infinity in the positive direction. Now, one thing you'll notice is that with the infinity signs, I always use a parenthesis. Well, that's because infinity is kind of more of a concept. You can't actually ever reach infinity, so it can't be an endpoint that's included in the solution set. So we always use parentheses when we're talking about um, infinity. All right, so here I'm just going to do a couple other examples of how we can represent um, these intervals in interval notation. Um, so I graphed out a couple of um, solution sets here. And um, the way I do it is I just start on the left. And here I'm starting at negative 5. And I have an open parenthesis. So negative 5 is not part of the solution set. And then I just travel over to 12. And 12 is included, so I use a bracket. It's as simple as that. All right, over here I have another compound inequality. This one would be an, an OR inequality. Um, and again, I'm starting all the way to the left. And well, it keeps going to the left forever. So that's got to be negative infinity. And as I mentioned before, we always use a parenthesis for infinity. And then I travel until I hit negative 6. And negative 6 is included. And I can do an OR. But I'm also, I, I could also just do this. This is a union. Okay, it's saying that you combine these two together and you get the full solution set. And um, here I've got three and it's a parenthesis, so it's not included in the solution set. And I'm gonna travel all the way to positive infinity. And again, I always use a parenthesis for that. That's it, I mean, that's all there really is to this. It's just a different notation system that um, really syncs um, in well um, between the um, kind of algebraic interval notation and then the graphing. Um, it's the same basic notation, so it's a little cleaner than the way with the dots.